Welcome to Express Delivery, a ministry of Highway Connections at highwayconnections.org. Is the Bible still being written today? It's common these days to hear various religious and cult groups claim to have received new divine revelation. This novel word from God supposedly takes precedence over previous teachings and subsequently becomes the central doctrinal truth to guide a fresh batch of disciples. This is why there are so many different approaches to Christianity, sometimes known as denominations. This is the pattern of cults in 19th century American history. Movements like Christian Science, Jehovah's Witnesses, and Mormons got their start when their founders claimed experiences with God that led to new truths and new teachings. They claimed these truths to be equal to Scripture, or that they were explanations of Scripture. Is it possible to get new revelation? Is the God of the Bible revealing new doctrine which people everywhere should embrace? The answer is no. Here are some of the reasons. The Bible records the Christian story. Creation, fall, redemption, and consummation. God's revelation to us through the Bible is complete because it tells a complete story. We're told how everything began and how it will end. The focal point of the Christian story is Jesus Christ. In the Old Testament, the focus is upon the anticipation of his coming as Messiah or Christ. The Gospels focus upon his life and ministry, and the book of Acts and the epistles focus upon the building of his church, with the book of Revelation depicting what will happen prior to and after his second coming. Since the Bible records the complete story of God's work among humankind, there's no need for additional revelation. Those who would want God to reveal himself to them have already received their wish, for God has revealed himself through creation, through Christ, through the scriptures. Those who insist that God perform miracles to verify himself, God responds with the miracle of the new birth and changed lives. For those who want God to tell them what his will is for their lives, he supplied a response in scripture. In short, We've been given all the revelation we need to do what God commands us to do. Jesus said in Matthew 24, 23 through 25, At that time, if anyone asks you, Look, here is the Christ, or hey, there he is, don't believe it. For false Christs and prophets will appear and perform great signs and miracles to deceive even the elect, if that were possible. See, I have told you ahead of time. Jesus' words automatically disqualify any religious figure that claims superiority or improvement over Jesus and his teachings. By implication, his words also disqualify any addition to the Bible. God has spoken with finality in Jesus Christ. There is no need for future revelation, as it says in Hebrews 1, 1 through 3. Cult leaders believe they can mix Jesus with their own views in order to convince people that they're specifically chosen by God to deliver a message or teaching not supported by the Bible. This has been done by groups like Mormonism or New Age Pantheism and the Unification Church. However, Jesus doesn't mix well with these religious charlatans. Like oil and vinegar, you can shake them really hard and get them to mix. But as soon as you stop shaking, the oil and vinegar separate out again. Jesus can't mix with another human being, especially one who makes claims to combine Jesus' teachings with their own. Jesus is God in the flesh, the final revelation of the living God. Thanks for listening to Express Delivery, a ministry of Highway Connections at highwayconnections.org. When you visit our website, simply provide your email and we'll be in touch so you can get to know Jesus, God's Son, and learn how to live a life pleasing to God. Through Highway Connections God Speaks 101, you can get to know God and how to grow in your Christian life as well. We'd like for you to be aware of our other program, The Backhaul, which is a longer program with a deeper study of the Bible. God's Word. Thanks again for listening to Express Delivery. We wish all of you safety on the roads.